subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. Typhoon Surigae is continuing its weakening process and it's also starting to turn extra tropical. Currently, we have a position at 23 degrees north, 128.4 degrees east, as of 12 p.m. Japan Standard Time this April the 23rd. Our current analysis puts Typhoon Surigae at 80 miles per hour or 130 kilometers per hour with a central pressure of 974 millibars moving northeast at 17 miles per hour or 30 kilometers per hour and due to us not expecting a landfall from this system in any land areas we do not have a CDPS rating on Typhoon Surigae as once again it's uh, turning extra tropical we don't expect this to make a landfall as a tropical system may impacts be felt in some of the Japanese islands certainly in fact we have some impacts being felt right now is here's the wind fields 160 nautical miles to the northeast 120 nautical miles to the south and 130 nautical miles to the northwest uh, so that wind field is pretty large and affecting some of the islands such as uh, the city named Naha in the Japanese islands 319 miles from the center, or 514 kilometers. Kita Daitu, 386 miles, or 621 kilometers. And Ogasawara, 1,003 miles, or 1613 kilometers. So, uh, the wind field affecting some of the Japanese islands at this time. Uh, no CDPS rating, again, as we don't expect any landfalls and no warnings are in effect which is very good news and here's the current estimates JTWC is sitting at 90 miles per hour ADT is at 85 miles per hour and force 13 again we are at 80 miles per hour for Typhoon Surigae here's our latest forecast cone for Typhoon Surigae showing in about 12 hours still hurricane force at 75 miles per hour but later in the day tomorrow uh, weakening below that hurricane force threshold and turning extra tropical on day three as a weak uh, tropical cyclone 45 miles per hour and you can see there landfall not forecast and no alerts are in effect for this so finally we can say goodbye to Typhoon Surigae um, which is something I think a lot of us are relieved about here's the current sea surface temperatures you can see they're really cooling off uh, really cold compared to where it was just a few days ago this is not going to strengthen anymore any strengthening that takes place would take place as a extra tropical cyclone as um, it moves further north here's the current wind fields you can see some tropical storm force winds again may be felt in the Japanese islands um, but the strongest winds staying offshore rainfall you might see some rainfall in those Japanese islands from it uh, it is a growing system as it turns extra tropical. Multimodal diagnostic comparison shows weakening from here on out. Uh, not expecting any strengthening really. Deep layer shear is rising significantly right now. Expected to go above 40 knots. Tracks going way out to sea. Sea surface temperatures taking a nose dive. And mid level relative humidity is on the downtrend right now. So conditions are all against Surigae. For once in its lifetime and here's current imagery of typhoon surigae you can see uh, it really not looking anywhere as good as it did a few days ago and as of right now we do not expect any strengthening and it is turning post tropical as we speak here is uh, water vapor you can see all that dry air intruding on the southern side of the system Thank you so much for watching this video update and stay tuned to Force 13 for more video updates on other tropical cyclone threats around the world.